but I was a good father. And that, uh, that seems, that's very important to me. Um, even though I was, wasn't around <laughs> very often. Um, and that I've mentored a good amount of people who are designers now. And because I think that's also very important. Um, there are some people doing some, at the Emmys this last week, there were a couple of people that were up against me for the same award who used to be my art directors. That actually is terrific. You know, I really like that. Um, I'd like to be remembered also for having, um, having created and uh, worked in a style that was individual to me and that inspired other people to continue in that vein as well, um, which is doing um, more sets, less just technology, and actually, uh, as I've said all along, having an architectural component to what you do, to, to what you're doing. What would you say is your proudest career achievement? Longevity is one of them. I've been around a while and I'm still doing new things and that's, that means a lot to me. Um, it always sounded, I always thought it sounded maybe a little disingenuous when I said the concert for New York was the proudest thing I ever did, but it actually isn't. It really was and still remains the only thing I've ever done that had that kind of emotional content to it. It actually mattered to me. It's okay. nice that I, and it's nice that I wasn't paid for it either. It was something I just did because it was what I could do, you know? So that means a lot. I, I take what I, I take what, you know, I take what we do, I take what I do very professionally. I know it's not only an art form of a kind, but it's also a craft but it's also how I make a living. So there's always a business component to it. Therefore, the idea of doing something that had nothing to do with that aspect to it would means, you know, it just meant the most.